Bruno Miguel Borges Fernandes, born September 8, 1994, is a Portuguese professional footballer who plays as an attacking midfielder for Premier League club Manchester United, which he captains, and the Portugal national team. He is known for his passing ability, vision, creativity, and penalty technique. Born in Maia, Porto, Fernandes started his career at Italian Siri beside Navarra but soon made a move to Siri aside Udinese in 2013, followed by Sampdoria three years later. After five years in Italy, he signed with Sporting CP in 2017. He won back-to-back -back Tacas de Liga in 2018 and 2019, as well as the Taca de Portugal, leading to him being named in the Primera Liga Team of the Year and Primera Liga Player of the Year in both seasons. In 2018-19, he scored a record of 33 goals in all competitions, making him the highest-scoring Portuguese midfielder and the highest-scoring midfielder in Europe in a single season. In January 2020, Fernandes signed with Manchester United for an initial €55 million, Euros, €47 million, pounds, becoming at the time, the second-highest fee for a Portuguese player leaving the domestic league. Fernandes is a former Portugal youth international, representing his country at under-19, under-20, under-21 and under-23 levels. He represented Portugal at the 2016 Summer Olympics. He made his senior international debut in 2017, being chosen in Portugal squads for the 2018 FIFA World Cup, 2019 UEFA Nations League Finals, UEFA Euro 2020 and 2022 FIFA World Cup, winning the 2019 competition on home soil, while being named in the team of the tournament. Early life Fernandes was born in Maia, metropolitan area of Porto. Growing up, he supported Boa Vista and Manchester United. During his childhood, Fernandes used to play football on the streets with his older brother Ricardo, who was also a professional football player. His father, who had emigrated to Switzerland, wanted Fernandes to move with him, but he refused, due to the standard of Swiss football at the time. Club career Early career Fernandes began his youth career at local club in Festa. Growing up, Fernandes was offered a youth contract at Porto's academy, but he went to local rivals Boa Vista, who offered him transportation to training, with his parents being unable to take him to Porto on a daily basis. Fernandes played most of his youth football with Boa Vista, starting his career as a center back, before being converted to an attacking midfielder at the age of 15, following a loan to Pastelira. Spell in Italy on August 27, 2012, he joined Navarra in Italy. Fernandez initially struggled in his new life in Italy, after suffering from homesickness and also had problems learning Italian. After his girlfriend moved to Italy, Fernandez quickly learned the language and began settling in the country, being nicknamed the Maradona of Navarra and the Mini Rui Costa. After only a few weeks with the youth sides, Fernandez was promoted to the first team in Serie B and went on to appear in slightly more than half of the league games during the 2012 13 season helping his team to fifth place and the promotion playoffs. In summer 2013, Serie A clubs Inter Milan and Juventus wanted to sign him, but instead, Fernandez decided to sign for Udinese in a co-ownership deal, who promised him first-team opportunities. He made his debut in Serie A on November 3, coming on as a second-half substitute in a 0-3 home loss against Inter Milan. Fernandez scored his first league goal on December 7. 2013, in a 3-3 draw at Napoli. He scored again in the second match between the sides in a 1-1 draw. On August 16, 2016, Fernandez moved to Sampdoria on loan with an obligation to be signed permanently. He made his league debut 12 days later, playing six minutes in a 2-1 home win over Atlanta. Fernandez scored his first goal for his new team on September 26, 2016, in a 1-2 away loss to Cagliari. He scored five goals in 33 Serie A appearances during the campaign, helping them to finish in 10th position. Sporting CP 2017-2018, Primera Liga's Player of the Year on June 27, 2017, after returning from the UEFA European Under-21 Championship, Fernandez joined Sporting CP on a five-year deal for a reported fee of €8.5 million Euro plus bonuses on August 6, 2017. 
Fernandez made his debut for the club in a 2-0 home victory against Desportivo Dos Aves. He scored four goals in his first five Primera Liga games, including a brace in a 5-0 away win against Vitoria de Guimaraes. Fernandez's first appearance in the UEFA Champions League group stage was on September 12, where he put the visitors 3-0 ahead in the 43rd minute of an eventual 3-2 win at Olympiacos. He finished his first season with 16 goals across all competitions, second only to BAS Dost and provided 20 assists, being named in the Primera Liga Team of the Year and Primera Liga Player of the Year. On May 15, 2018, Fernandez and several of his teammates, including coaches, were injured following an attack by around 50 sporting supporters at the club's training ground after the team finished third in the league and missed out on Champions League qualification. Despite the events, the team agreed to play in the final of the Taca de Portugal scheduled for the following weekend, eventually losing to Desportivo das Aves. Fernandez was named the Primera Liga Player of the Year on 6 July. Four days later he signed a new five-year contract with a 100 million euro release clause. Having turned back on his original decision to leave the Estadio José Alvalade following the departure of club president Bruno de Carvalho and being given an improved salary. In the process, 2018-2020, highest-scoring midfielder in Europe Fernandez scored his 23rd competitive goal of the 2018-19 campaign during a 3-1 home win against Pertiminens on March 3. 2019, through a late penalty, surpassing Antonio Oliveira's club record for goals by a midfielder in a season, set in 1981-82. On May 5, he scored a hat-trick in an 8-1 away route of Belenenses Sad, in the process becoming the highest-scoring Portuguese midfielder in a single season of all time, with 31 goals. To his name, he scored his 33rd and final goal of the season on May 25, 2019, during Sporting's victory against Porto in the Taca de Portugal final. He was named Primera Liga Player of the Year for the second successive year for his performances in the 2018-19 season. He scored seven goals in his first ten appearances of the 2019-20 season, including a run of scoring in six consecutive appearances. This made him the third sporting player in the 21st century to score in six or more consecutive appearances for the club, after Mario Jardel and B.A.S. Dost. On November 28, he scored twice and assisted the other two goals in a 4-0 victory over PSV Eindhoven, which guaranteed sporting qualification to the knockout stages of the UEFA Europa League, Manchester. United 2019-2020, Europa League top scorer on January 29, 2020, English club Manchester United confirmed they had reached an agreement with Sporting for the transfer of Fernandez for a fee reportedly worth up to €80 million, Euros, £67.6 million, pounds, comma, subject to the player passing a medical and agreeing personal terms. The transfer was officially completed the following day, for an initial fee of around €55 million, Euros, €47 million, pounds, comma, plus up to €25 million, Euros, £21 million pounds, in add-ons and 10% of the profits. Should United ever sell Fernandez, Fernandez signed a five-and-a-half-year contract. He made his debut on February 1st, playing the full 90 minutes of a goalless draw at home to Wolverhampton Wanderers, and Manchester United's 2-0 away win over Chelsea on February 17th, he provided an assist for the second goal, a header from Harry Maguire. Fernandez came on as a late substitute for Manchester United against Club Brugge in a 1-1 draw on his European debut for the club. He scored his first goal for Manchester United against Watford on February 23, converting from the penalty spot in an eventual 3-0 victory at Old Trafford, a match in which he also provided an assist for the third goal scored by Mason Greenwood. His first European goal for the club came in the second leg of their UEFA Europa League round of 32 tie against Club Brugge at Old Trafford, in which he scored a penalty, helping them to a 5-0 victory. On March 16, Fernandez was voted as the Premier League Player of the Month for February. On June 30, Fernandez scored his first brace for the club in a 3-0 win over Brighton and Hove Albion. For his performances in June, he won multiple club and Premier League awards, including Premier League Player of the Month and Goal of the Month, becoming the first player to win both awards concurrently in Premier League history. 
he also became the first Manchester United player to win back-to-back -back Premier League Player of the Month awards since Cristiano Ronaldo in the 2006-07 season. In September, Fernandez was named as the winner of Manchester United Sir Matt Busby Player of the Year award, given to the club's best player from the previous season. 2020-2021, individual success and Europa League final on September 26, Fernandez scored his first goal of the season against Brighton and Hove Albion in the 100th minute of a 3-2 win at the Amex Stadium, it was one of the latest goals in Premier League history, and came after referee Chris Cavanaugh had blown the final whistle. Before a video assistant referee awarded United a penalty which Fernandez converted, on November 7, Fernandez scored a brace and provided an assist against Everton to secure a 3-1 away win. He was named Premier League Player of the Month for November in recognition of his four goals and one assist that month, and again in December after scoring three goals and providing four assists in that month, becoming the first player to win the award four times in a single calendar year. He scored one goal and made two assists in United's Premier League record equaling 9-0 home win against Southampton on 2 February 2021. He finished third in terms of top goal scorers in the league with 18 goals and second among the top assist providers with 12. Fernandez appearing for Manchester United in a Premier League match against Leeds United during the 2021-22 season in April 2021, a day after Manchester United had announced their plan to quit the UEFA Champions League to join the European Super League along with 11 other clubs, Fernandez became the first potential European Super League player to comment on this, stating his disapproval, dreams can't be bought. By the next day, Manchester United withdrew from the European Super League, which was also announced to be suspended that day, amid a backlash from players, managers, football institutions, politicians, fans and the media. On April 29th, he scored twice and assisted two more goals in a 6-2 home win over Roma in the first leg of the Europa League semi-finals wink with a frown, and provided an assist in a 3-2 defeat in the return leg, which allowed United to advance to the final 8-5 on aggregate. On May 26, Manchester United drew 1-1 against Villarreal after extra time in the Europa League final, but eventually lost on penalties, despite Fernandez netting his spot kick in the shootout. 2021-2022, Champions League top assist. Provider on August 14, 2021, in the opening match of the Premier League season, Fernandez scored a hat-trick against Leeds United in a 5-1 win. He then scored in the team's next home game against Newcastle United with a powerful shot from 25 yards, before missing a last-minute penalty against Aston Villa two weeks later that would have salvaged a 1-1 draw. He later posted an apology for his penalty miss on Instagram. On November 23, Fernandez provided an assist for Jadon Sancho in United's 2-0 victory away against Villarreal in the Champions League to ensure his team qualification to the round of 16, becoming the first player to provide an assist in five consecutive matches of a Champions League campaign for an English club. On December 2, Fernandez made his 100th appearance for the club opening the scoring in United's 3-2 home win over rivals Arsenal at Old Trafford on April 1, 2022, Fernandez signed a new contract which will keep him at Manchester United until June 2026, with the option of a further year. On May 2, he scored his 50th goal for Manchester United in the club's 3-0 home win over Brentford. His performances declined during the season. With Fernandez alongside his teammates struggling and underperforming and with United supporters becoming increasingly frustrated by Fernandez's complaints to referees during matches, and with the club finishing a disappointing sixth place. Qualifying for the UEFA Europa League, despite Fernandez being the top assist provider in the 2021-22 UEFA Champions League, with seven assists in total. 2022-2023, ending the trophy drought on July 1, Manchester United announced that they had changed Fernandez's squad number from 18 to his preferred number 8, the same number he wore during his time for sporting CP and as a tribute to his birth date and his father, upon the departure of Juan Mata, after his contract expired. Fernandez scored his first goal of the season on August 27, 2022, volleying in the only goal in a 1-0 away win at Southampton. On January 3, 
2023, Fernandez made his 150th appearance for the club, assisting Marcus Rashford goal in United's 3-0 home win over Bournemouth. Two weeks later, he was instrumental in United's 2-1 comeback win over Manchester City in the Manchester Derby, scoring a goal that was part of the build-up play for United's controversial equaliser despite Rashford being in an offside position, helping United to extend their winning run to nine in all competitions. On January 18, Fernandez became the Manchester United midfielder to register the second-most goal contributions in the Premier League, behind Paul Scholes, after scoring in United's 1-1 draw to Crystal Palace, registering his 100th goal contribution for the club. On February 26, Fernandez started in the 2023 EFL Cup final as Manchester United beat Newcastle United 2-0 at Wembley Stadium, winning his first trophy with the club. At the end of the season, United qualified for the 2023-24 UEFA Champions League by finishing third in the Premier League. They also got to the 2023 FA Cup final. Despite Fernandez equalizing for United through a penalty, they eventually lost to local rivals Manchester City, with a scoreline of 2-1. 2023 present, assuming the captaincy on July 20, Fernandez was named as Harry Maguire's replacement as club captain. On August 26, Fernandez scored his first goal of the season, netting a penalty, and also assisting Case Moreau in a 3 2 comeback win over Nottingham Forest. The following months, United endure a difficult start to the season. Most notably in the Premier League and Champions League, United finishing last in their group, with Fernandez's captaincy coming under scrutiny, despite being the football player who played the most minutes in world football, with 72 games and 6,666 minutes dating from September 15, 2022 to 2023. In January 2024, during the winter transfer window, Fernandez was the recipient of a contract offer worth 100 million euros from Saudi Pro League side Al Hilal. In case of accepting the offer, he would have joined his national teammates Cristiano Ronaldo and Ruben Neves, as well as former manager Jorge Jesus, who was keen on signing him. However, the deal was eventually turned down by Fernandez, who felt he had unfinished business at United, stating that he was happy, focused on Man United. International career 2012-2017, youth level Fernandez playing for Portugal at the 2016 Summer Olympics with the Portugal under-20s, Fernandez took participated in the 2014 Toulon tournament. In this competition, he played four out, scoring against Chile in a group stage match, helping Portugal to a third place finish. Fernandes represented Portugal at under 19, under 20, under 21, and under 23 levels, for a total of 28 caps. Prior to his international debut, he was named captain of the under 21 team by coach Rui Jorge. He scored four goals and provided four assists in Portugal under 21's qualification campaign, helping them to qualify for the 2017 UEFA European under 21 championship. In June, Fernandes took part in the 2017 UEFA European under 21 championship, helping Portugal to a group stage finish and scoring a goal against Serbia in the opening match. Fernandez represented Portugal in the 2016 Summer Olympics. He started every game as the team reached the quarterfinals. 2017 to 2018, senior and World Cup debuts Fernandez playing for Portugal at the 2018 FIFA World Cup overlooked for selection by Portugal during his spell in Italy. Fernandez was first chosen on August 28. 2017, replacing the injured PZ for World Cup qualifiers against the Faroe Islands in Hungary to be played the next month. Although he did not play in either match, Fernandez won his first full cap on November 10, 2017, replacing Manuel Fernandez for the last 34 minutes of the 3-0 friendly win. Over Saudi Arabia in Visu, he was then selected by Fernando Santos for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. He scored his first goal on June 7 with a header in the last warm-up match before the tournament, a 3-0 defeat of Algeria at the Estadio de Luz. Fernandez's first World Cup game took place on June 15, 2018, when he played 66 minutes in a 3-3 group stage draw against Spain, being booked in the process. On June 30, Portugal were eliminated following a 2-1 defeat to Uruguay in the last 16. 
2018-2021 Nations League title and subsequent struggles Fernandez was selected for three matches in the league phase of the 2018-19 UEFA Nations League group stage, helping the hosts Portugal qualify to the inaugural Nations League finals in June 2019. In the UEFA Nations League finals, Fernandez played both matches as Portugal defeated the Netherlands 1-0 in Porto to win the trophy. For his performances throughout the competition, he was named in the team of the tournament. Fernandez was named in Portugal's final squad for the delayed UEFA Euro 2020 tournament, appearing in all games of the eventual round of 16 exit. Fernandez went on to be criticized for his performances during the tournament as he struggled to replicate his club. Form for his country, being heavily fatigued and overshadowed by other teammates, he went to be a first-team player to a substitute by the end of Portugal's campaign and tournament. 2022-present, national team breakthrough on March 29, 2022. Fernanda scored both goals in Portugal's 2-0 win over North Macedonia in the final of the World Cup qualification playoffs to ensure Portugal's qualification for the 2022 tournament in Qatar, Fernandez after scoring in a group stage game against Uruguay at the 2022 FIFA World Cup in October, he was named in Portugal's preliminary 55-man squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, 119, being included in the final 26-man squad for the tournament. On November 25, Fernandes provided two assists in Portugal's 3-2 group stage win against Ghana. Three days later, Fernandes scored both of Portugal's goals in a 2-0 victory over Uruguay, securing his team's qualification to the knockout stages. On December 6, he provided an assist for Pepe, who scored Portugal's second goal in a thrashing 6-1 win in the round of 16 match against Switzerland and became the second oldest player to ever score in the tournament. Portugal were eliminated in the quarterfinals after losing 1-0 to Morocco. Despite Portugal's elimination, Fernandes finished the tournament as the joint top assister with three assists. His World Cup form continued during the UEFA Euro 2024 qualifiers in March, providing two assists in a brace against Bosnia and Herzegovina in a 3-0 win on 17 June. On September 8, on his 29th birthday, Fernandes scored the only goal of an away win over Slovakia. On September 11, still during that stage, he scored a goal and provided a hat-trick of assists in a 9-0 home defeat. Of Luxembourg, the former's biggest win in international history, in the reverse fixture against Slovakia, on November 13, Fernandes provided a brace of assists in a 3-2 win, leading Portugal to qualify for Euro 2024, marking the nation's fastest qualification to a major tournament in their history. Fernandes was in fine form throughout the qualifying process, finishing the qualifying campaign as the top assister with eight assists, with Portugal topping their qualifying group with 10 consecutive wins, a national team record. Player profile style of play and attacking midfielder, Fernandes is a direct, energetic box-to-box -box playmaker who is capable of both taking on defenders and setting the rhythm of play. Directness also means that Fernandes tends to take a lot of risks with the type and level of passes he attempts to complete. However, despite being prone to turnovers, he typically presses the opposition right after losing possession. Fernandes boasts a prolific goal-scoring record from the midfield position. He frequently shoots from outside the penalty area and is an accurate free kick and penalty taker. His movement off the ball is also key, with him often roaming around the attacking areas of the pitch or dropping deep to pick up possession. As well as operating in the attacking midfielder role, he can also operate in a deeper central midfield role or as a second striker. Regarding his goal-scoring ability, former Manchester United defender Rio Ferdinand commented that Fernandez is a player who knows how to create chances, who can for a bit of imagination, creativity, the patience around the box, the ability to hit a ball from the edge of the box and put in the back of net, manipulate and take ball. Ferdinand also praised his leadership abilities, stating he was one of the players in the game that leads by example. Former Manchester United coach Ole Gunnar Solskjaer stated that Fernandez was a bit of a mix between Paul Scholes and Juan Sebastián Verón. Fernandez's goal-scoring abilities have also drew comparisons with former Chelsea midfielder Frank Lampard after breaking his record of being the highest-scoring midfielder in Europe in a single season. 
Goal Celebration Fernandez has adopted a particular goal-scoring celebration throughout his career. After scoring a goal, he usually celebrates by covering his ears with both of his hands, as a tribute to his daughter Matilda, who covers her ears pretending not to hear him. Sponsorship Fernandez is sponsored by sportswear company Nike. He wears Nike Mercurial Vapor boots. Personal life When Fernandez moved to Italy at age 18 to join Navarra, he was joined there by childhood sweetheart Ana Pinu. They married in 2015. The couple have a daughter named Matilda, born January 30, 2017, and a son named Goncalo, born September 6, 2020. He has tattoos on both of his arms with the number 8, in which he tributes to his birth date and to his father, who was also a footballer and wore the number 8 shirt during his playing career. The letter F symbolizing his surname and the number 23 as a tribute to his debut with the Portugal national football team when he was aged 23. Fernandez is multilingual, apart from his native Portuguese, he is fluent in Spanish, English, and Italian. He also speaks some French.